Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com with a little mini-series TV drama um, review of The Trial of Christine Keeler that's just finished on BBC and is now out to buy in the UK on um, the 27th of January 2020, so obviously hopefully it's available in, in your territory as well. What is it and what it's about? Trial of Christine Keeler, very well known in British politics, perhaps not overly known outside of the UK, I'm not too sure, but the BBC have been showing it over the last six weeks and we've had six episodes, a total of 360 minutes approximately because the old BBC are quite kind with the minutes, aren't they? So you've probably got between 55, about 55 minutes per episode. So what subject? Well, it's it's been previously tackled actually in a very, very good film back in 1989 uh, called Scandal, which starred the excellent John Hurt as Stephen Ward and Joanne Wally as a very, very good Christine Keeler. Uh, this new version, this uh, TV series, six episodes, is entitled The Trial of Christine Keeler. It's a BBC series based on the chain of events surrounding the Perfumo affair in the 1960s. The series was adapted by screenwriter Amanda Coe. It stars Sophie Cookson, James Norton, Ellie Bamber, Ben Miles, Bissar Vishka, Amelia Fox, Nathan Stewart Jarrett and Anthony Welsh and Uncle Tom Cobley and all, I think. Um, Christine Keel, yeah, she was an English model and a showgirl and she became entangled in a scandal at the age of just 21, which obviously we're going back to the 60s, so quite a young quite a young age. Um, there was a series of events involving the two ex-boyfriends, Johnny Edgecombe and uh, Lucky Gordon, in combination with MI5 secret service intrigues. These, these combined to reveal publicly two of Keeler's affairs from two years previously before when she was 19. Both affairs were with married men, a Soviet Union naval attache called Yevgeny Ivanov and Secretary of State for War John Profumo at the height of the Cold War. So this is all about that, that time and that sort of um, scandal in the UK. Is it any good? Well, the Internet Movie Database rating is an average 6.3. It's not a fantastic rating, even though the episodes in themselves got 7.1 to 8.4 out of 10. Uh, my little review, my little thoughts on the film is that the acting is overall pretty good. Um, Norton as Stephen Ward is, is, is OK. He's not John Hurt. I pretty much prefer John Hurt. Among, in all this, I much prefer going back and watching Scandal, to be honest with you. I'd, I did find this dragged a little bit. Uh, Sophie Cookson was Keeler. Ben Miles was Profumo. I mean, Profumo, was it? the character lacked a bit of depth, but perhaps he did in real life, but he was portrayed far better in the aforementioned film Scandal. Um, there's a time shift element to it. And yeah, I mean, a few people who commented on this have, have commented about the time shift. And it is annoying, to be honest with you. I'd rather the film just, just tell the story from A to Z. Uh, the time shift element does confuse things a little bit, and it did put a lot of watchers off. And they also, there was a comment about the Cold War paranoia at the time. I mean, it was, it was quite a dramatic thing, but there's no sort of feeling of that paranoia, etc., comes across in, in the series. The six episodes, and it just doesn't create any sort of atmosphere. And with it being six episodes, almost six hours, it is too long and it does lack dramatic tension that the film Scandal gave us. I mean, in all fairness, if it had been a lot shorter, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm comparing it to a very British Scandal, which was a very recent BBC thing, I think it was last year or the year before, which was about Jeremy Thorpe and Norman Scott, another similar sort of thing. Uh, which obviously was, was a little bit lighter in its telling, and it was only over three episodes and was three hours, and that I think this Christine Keeler drama should have been also over three three hours. It was it wasn't enough there for six episodes. It, it was it was just so drawn out. There was some of the atmosphere of the sixties was caught. There's some nice nice, especially in the early episodes and the last episode there's some some great 60s stuff clubs and stuff and the various like, soho and all this sort of thing it just did kind of capture that uh, that atmosphere um and obviously i've re-watched scandal recently and although that doesn't age particularly well uh, it's probably still in my opinion as the edge on this this ponderous yeah i mean ponderous retelling that's a good word I mean, don't forget, I mean, this is quoting from, I think, Wikipedia. This, uh, Sorry, this was quoting from Amazon who did a little thing on this Christine Keeler. 
and it sort of tells you about the background to the story. And this, this is quoting from Amazon. It says, a story that forced the resignation of Prime Minister Macmillan, it was a scandal of sex, spies and lies that dominated British media in 1963, rocked its government and led to trials of both Ward and Keeler. It also led to the resignation of the British War Minister, John Profumo, the tragic trial and death of the London socialite Dr Stephen Ward, set in a fascinating era of shifting class, gender and racial politics and the height of the Cold War. The series takes us behind the headlines of this groundbreaking British scandal told through the lives of its characters with flashbacks to the infamous, infamous affair. So with all that background and story, I mean, that, that sounds like an exciting sort of synopsis doesn't it but sadly it just doesn't just doesn't live up to the to the to the comment there on amazon it does let us down a little bit i did i enjoyed possibly the last two episodes more than, than the other the first four in, in all fairness which i thought dragged a little bit and the last episode i even a lot of the characters i didn't have any real affinity with the characters no real chemistry with the characters but i think the last episode i, I think I, I enjoyed christine keeler's uh um, role far more I, be, I, I had more affinity with her just watching the last episode and the last say 30 minutes of the whole whole thing you know I had a bit of a, a link with Christine Keeler and I think it it finished superbly I mean the last act if you like of the six of the six hour six hour long thing was was excellent and I think I learned more about Christine Keeler in that than, than the rest of the time and as I said, I was a little bit disappointed. I've only given it a watchable rating of six out of ten. I mean, please, if it, if it does interest you, get uh, watch it. Uh, I would of the two, I would say recommend Scandal. But obviously, if you've seen that, please uh, watch Christine Keel. But don't don't be worried about getting a little bit bored with it. It does does drag a drag a lot. And not just personally. There's a lot of comments from various other people about how it drags over time. So obviously, that's the uh, the secret. Is it the life of Christine Keeler or is it the secret life of Christine Keeler? The trial of Christine Keeler, even it's called, sorry, my, my mistake. The trial of Christine Keeler, which is now available to buy and obviously will be on BBC iPlayer uh, to re-watch. And obviously Scandal is available streaming, I think. I think you can still stream that and obviously um, it's still available to buy on many websites, Scandal. So if you fancy watching the superb, obviously John Hurt. Uh, please go back and watch Scandal, which is the same story, done a lot quicker and probably just as atmospheric and just as uh, as poignant as the this new BBC TV drama, which, uh, as I said, six hours too long over three episodes. I think it would have been far, far better and an easier watch. Anyway, glad for, thank you for joining me for this little mini review of the trial of Christine Keeler. Please push the old subscribe button, push the bell notification. Any thumbs ups are always great. Follow me on Twitter at Nostalgia underscore movie and also I'm on Facebook at Bernard Links with movie game nostalgia.com, my little website for um, DVDs, posters, board games, etc. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. What are we going to do with the rest of your day? Have a good one. Look after yourself, look after your friends, and more importantly, look after your family. And this is Bernard out for now. Bye bye.